Hi everyone, welcome to Prince Academy. How are you all? I hope you are all doing well. And in this video, we are going to deal with the concept of survey research from the subject of research methodologies and methods MS402 MS program IGNO. This video is mainly for first year students and also for research students. So this in this video, we are going to discuss about the introduction of survey research and operationalizing survey research tools and the advantages and disadvantages of survey research. Let's discuss one by one. Let's start. Survey research is basically a method of gathering information from a population on a given subject. Survey research is basically a method of gathering information, collecting, da collecting data, collecting data and analyzing. This is all about survey research and survey research actually, <coughs> sorry, gather information. It covers large area. It gathers information, it covers large area and uses statistical methods. It's actually a quantitative method. Quantitative method is again divided into two types. One is census model and another one is sample model. Coming to the census model, it covers all the population, it covers all the units in population, it covers all the area. It is a quite expensive and a lengthy process and also a time consuming process. Coming to the sample model, it covers only the some portion of the po population, right? And follow scientific processes using sampling methods, right? And less time taken and it was compared to the census model, it is very cost effective. Next, coming to the operationalizing survey research tools. Survey research is typically carried out with the help of questionnaire and direct interviews. So, uh, survey research tools are the tools which, you, which are used to collect data. Let's see one by one what are the tools which you are helpful for to collect data. First one is questionnaire. Respondents themselves fill in the answer to the question. Example, an application form. Filling an application form in uh, offices, right? Questionnaires are also sent by mail. Such questionnaires are called mailed questionnaires. Example, Google Forms. We all fill Google Forms for the surveys conducted by many companies and many offices, right? Less. Next, household drop survey. Researchers visit house, houses and drop an application to fill. Researchers generally visit the houses and drop an application to fill that application. Uh, for example, health survey. Nowadays, health services are conducting in India and uh, some of the ASHA workers, uh, some of the health workers, health workers are coming to our houses and uh, collecting uh, health details from us, right? Telephonic survey. Researchers use telephones to contact respondents and carry out service. Example, customer care. They ask for the feedback. So, how is our service? How is our service? Just feedback. They ask for the feedback. This is also known as telephonic survey. Next, direct interviews. We all know about the direct interviews. Meeting respondents directly, right? Next, coming to the advantages and disadvantages. Advantages of survey research. Relatively inexpensive. As I earlier said, it is relatively inexpensive. Describes the characteristics of a large population. It covers huge area. Research, research can be administered from remote locations using mail and telephone. We can also collect data from the remote locations too and provides considerable flexibility to the analysis because if we have large data we can easily analyze those data right considerable flexibility to the analysis choice of multiple methods to collect data as i earlier said questionnaire household uh, drop survey telephonic survey direct interviews etc etc uh, researchers have the multiple methods of choice to collect data standardized questions results measurements more precise precise measurements would be produced from the survey research coming to the weakness of survey research designing questions in very general terms questions should be designed in very general terms requires a precise study design it needs a precise study design successful research takes only on the basis of response from respondents on the basis of response only on the basis of response from the respondents would make a successful research matter of a great deal of attention and honesty from the respondents understand this is all about advantages and disadvantages of survey research i hope we clear this topic right thank you